What's up, Pokemon TCG players? We're back with a, another Pokemon TCG live deck tech. This one is a cute two card combo that allows you to get some chaos and some pretty big scary stuff. Where the key card is Lycanroc VMAX. Now, Lycanroc VMAX's first attack knocks out one of your opponent's Pokemon in play that has 60 HP or less remaining. Um, there is actually a lot of stuff just in the format right now that does just have 60 HP. And so sometimes, um, if you're going first and you're attacking on that second turn, you're getting a KO. Just for free. And that's, that's pretty good. But, combined with this Clay Doll's Ancient Imprint, Ancient Imprint puts damage counters on your opponent's active Pokemon until its remaining HP is 60. So they put out something that's 310, Bam, 60 HP, and then they kill the Clay Doll. Your man's Lycan Rock Max comes back, collects a KO. Even if they're able to bench it, move it around, it doesn't matter where it goes, as long as it's not leaving play, you're able to collect that KO, um, which is pretty good. And then you also have some other niche little synergies here, like, for example, Halucha can put two damage counters across your opponent's bench Pokemon. And that can be a Comfy KO, which has you know 70 HP. That can be a Curlier KO, which has 70 HP, I think. Um, and so you're really able to stop your opponent from setting up evolutionary Pokemon really easily. Um, and then you have like the advantage of it, just your attack as being fighting type, and it's really easy to get KOs on decks like Maradon for free. Um, and then like the main main obstacle is just getting your clay doll set up or getting your lichen rock set up. Um, everything other than that is pretty straightforward. We've just got our 14 fighting energy, and then we've got our gutsy pickaxe, which is pretty great. That can help us get our benched clay doll to two energy um, a turn in advance. Playing one forest steel stone and one rock chest plate, which is really good to help keep clay doll alive. But also you can put it onto the Lycan Rock VMAX um, to try and help it stay around for a little while. And if, like Acuity, which also um, does less damage, makes you take less damage more specifically. Same with the Rock Chest Plate, that you can be blocking up to 50 incoming damage, um, which is pretty huge. Um, or optionally, you have Leafy Camo Poncho. And the Poncho, if you have Clay Dolly active, you have your Lycan Rock VMAX on the bench. The leafy camo poncho, which is a really easy thing to say out loud, um, will prevent your opponent from being able to bosses orders it out and get those three prize cards. So Lycan Rock VMAX is really only in the active when you're trying to get KOs. And it can take some big hits. It's got a lot of HP um, sitting in at 320. So 320 HP and you can be mitigating up to 50 damage with the acuity and the chest plate. Um, each, each attack from your opponent can be pretty good. Um, we've got some, like a little bit of a, a toolkit here to go with our Arvin because we have three different equipment that are really good. Um, so Arvin's going to be picking out one of them, but then we also have a bunch of item cards like our Nest Ball to get our Greninja, the Ultra Ball to grab Black and Rock VMAX most of the time, um, or a Clay Doll, uh, Energy Retrieval to combo with the Greninja to keep the card draw engine alive, and Energy Search in the same way. These are one-offs because you can just search for it with Arvin when you need it. Um, but then otherwise we have three bosses orders. This is a bit more than usual. Um, but the reason why I'm playing the extra bosses orders is that Lycanroc's first attack hits your opponent's guys wherever they are. So you can basically use the bosses orders to retreat lock something and then Lycanroc comes in and kills something that's on the bench. And your opponent has a turn where they have to figure out how to recover from that. Um, which can be really good. Or you can bosses into their big thing that's on the bench um, so that Clay Doll can set it up to have only 60 HP. Uh, and then pretty much everything else is just kind of card advantage. Like we've got four profs um, and Clara. Clara is one that's just like maybe put energy in my hand if I'm like really behind um, for the Greninja or to pick up. Like maybe they KO the Greninja and I'll grab that guy because it's a really important draw engine in general, just in the, the entire format, unfortunately. Um, or to get uh, uh, one of my evolutionary forms that I need to get my guys happening. 
I'm playing one of Zapdos to just like really dumpster the Maridon matchup. I don't know that this is super necessary. This could be Hydrapion if I'm scared of Mew. This could be, you know, something else with other formats if needed for the other matchups to make them a bit better, but I'm happy with this right now. But that's our that's our deck. That's our Lycan Rock V Max thing. Let's let's get a look at it. Okay, we've got a Baltoy lead, which is not the worst. Okay, and it looks like we're playing against the Gardevoir EX deck. You had a really good start, and I've had a kind of an average start. I can cross maybe depending on what they have here um, going second means I can't attack with the Lycan Rock VMAX uh, which is kind of tough which is kind of tough but otherwise these would be perfect targets to be able to just catch some free KOs and stop them from being able to set up the Curlier engine unfortunately we hit Balto off the top which is not great, and that's probably going to die very quickly because this will deal 150 and I can't block that much damage off the Bell Toy. We hit Arvin. Okay, so we're going to go Nest Ball, we're going to grab Greninja. Let's then draw some cards. Another nest ball. Wow, there's two nest ball prized. Um, and I'm gonna get the rock chest plate to get like and rock. Let's pickaxe hit an energy. No. Hit the V Max. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Um. I'm going to chest plate now in, in case they see the boss's orders. But I'm not going to play the acuity yet. Because it's not going to block any damage this turn. Okay, that's not great. They didn't hit an energy, so they might not be attacking this turn, which is huge, potentially. Which means I'm probably going to be professors researching. Probably. Wow, discards the Gardevoir. Wait, and Claw? That seems really bad for them, right? Yeah, it's just like putting so many targets for me to get free KOs on. While well, he's digging for Zacian. Okay. That's kind of brutal. He's got no Psychic Energy. He's got one Psychic Energy. Two in the discard pile. So we're going to be taking a KO on Baltoy. For the attack, which is interesting. Maybe he thinks I'm bricked, which is a bit odd. Um, but okay. Let's pass. Okay, so I have the whole Lucha potentially, but we're gonna retreat. I'm gonna bring out Lycan Rock, and then we're gonna evolve the Baltoy because. Um, the Claydol has a higher retreat cost. 
And I'm going to activate Greninja. Hit the pickaxe. That's fine. I might bench one. I have no attach left. I mean, just get to take a KO. And it's going to be on this Routes. Which means that my opponent's going to have no Curlia active this game. The way things are going. But he might be able to get a KO back, which is going to be kind of rough. Depends on how many times he has to activate the Gardevoir EX. Because if he can get this down to 30 HP left, I might be able to just get the KO with Claydol. Okay, of course. It's really one prize up. I don't really feel like I have much of a lead here. The only thing I really managed to accomplish is to shut down the Curly Draw Engine, but they were very happy to spam rare candies, you know. The rounds. Okay, well, play it. I'm gonna take that prize too. It also resists fighting this one in particular, which I have to be mindful of. as much damage here as he can, I think. That's all of it. Alright. So we're looking at 150, 210, 180. Reduced by the chest plate. That's not great for me. Um... Not particularly great for me. Wow. That's not particularly great for me either. Um let's put something on the cladle. I think I am gonna be professors researching this turn. I've lost my Clara and I have four energy in this couple, and I'll be putting two more in there. And losing the forest seal stone, which I currently can't let use. Not great. Not great. But this is pretty good. Do you want to do a bunch of stuff we need? Didn't hit. There. I think I just maybe have to let him take a KO. Which means I might be able to... If I get a KO on this on the turn back, if he kills this, I get a lot of value. I think it actually puts me into a nice lead. Um, but then I think that the... The Brainwave Gardevoir will take it away. I don't think this is a particularly good matchup, because I don't have that many multi-prize Pokemon that I can take out too easily. If I could get a boss, like if I drew boss off that, I could clay doll onto the Gardevoir with the boss. That would be huge. Um, there's two boss left in the deck. Maybe one, if prized. What's the Klefki for? That hurts you more than it hurts me. Maybe they're just deck thinning? That's unfortunately just enough. Um, how it's best to do this? I guess I just have to throw out a clay doll then. Hope I peeled boss. Did not. But I have the poncho, so they can't boss my 
VMAX. We're gonna Greninja and then Energy Retrieval. There's the boss. That's pretty good. So let's go for that. And we'll set up to KO the Gardevoir next turn. I don't think he can one shot the Lycan Rock. I hope. <laughs> I hope he can't one shot. I don't think he can retreat either. If you've got Beat Court or an energy attach for turn, then yes. But if you put so much energy onto this, I could just kill it with Halucha, which would be hilarious. Oh, that's pretty good. Because there are some good targets in here. Like, get the Ralts back, get the Gardevoir EX back. Yeah, that's rough. I was kind of hoping that I wouldn't be seeing any more Ralts. So they couldn't recover after I knock out one of these. Yeah, crap. That's really bad. Hmm. Well, I was gonna have it anyway. All right, so you're going to retreat, I think, and then attack to get the KO with Zessiom. Yeah. So you go to two, and I'm going to two. You got two energy in the discard pile. Hmm. That's totally fine. Gotta back up Acuity. I'm gonna have profs here. Might run out of cards in deck. A little unfortunate. I don't really want to do much else here. Let's take this KO of the Gardevoir. I guess the aim of the game is to survive. I don't know what I want. I was hoping to rip a boss. Because if I have a boss, I can potentially lock something up. Like if I can boss into this, maybe it locks something up. Fun. EX, which is interesting. He has a man of that does nothing. That does not interact with my deck in a meaningful way. I'm not really seeing a line how I win here. That hurts a lot too. Makes him deal 20 more damage, basically. I don't think you can KO this turn, but I don't think I can win the game, either. I need to get boss, somehow. And then boss something that can't do anything. I have a hunch that boss is prized. Because I've now seen two of them, and I have one left. I also want a Hal Lucha <laughs> to kill this mana fee. So I don't really know. Judge is great. That's fantastic. This one in particular was not good, but it means I don't deck out. There's a 
That's a lot of damage. Oh, I love you. Okay, so... Let's hope that this buys us a turn. Ultra Ball is not yet. Attach an energy, but I don't think that's going to be relevant. Um, so you kill this Mew, you go to one prize. We hopefully survive for a turn, and I hopefully have Halucha in my deck and not as my very last prized card. Is that would be really bad. That would be really bad. Or is it in my discard pile? In which case, that's even worse. There's one. There's only one in my discard pile. So I have another Howlucha either here in these seven cards or here in this one prize card. I don't. Oh, he just concedes? That's amazing. He knows he can't retreat. So he gives me a free turn to potentially get a KO there. Whew. Oh, okay. That was. That was stressful, um, but we made it. This janky rope deck just beat the best deck in the format, or one of the best decks in the format. Um, that was <laughs> that was really tough. I was really worried for a second there, um, but that's kind of the idea, right? We boss out the key part. So without the EX, they can't put Psychic Energy onto the thing that they need to retreat. We get that KO using the Clay Doll and Hunting Claw. We then use the second boss to lock them so that they can't retreat in one turn, buying us a free KO, getting us a prize. And that's the strategy. And it, it will work for a lot of other, a lot of other decks too. Um, with the added advantage of in the Moraiden matchup that you can just actually just hit them with Lycanroc's um, second ability or get the Zapdos out and get that killing things. But that's the deck. That's something I've been working on a little bit. I was playing around with that a bit last night and having a bit of fun um, playing with that. And as you can see, it, it works pretty well. And that's it for this deck tech. I know that it tends to drag on a little bit sometimes. But we have a whole bunch of other stuff on the channel that's worth checking out. I do a lot of uh, Pokemon content, I've got Marvel Snap content, and I've got Magic the Gathering Historic content, and I'm making my own board game, which is a reverse murder mystery game. So, a lot of this stuff that I think is worth checking out on the channel, then you should, you know, drop it the drop a subscribe, hit that like button, and check out some of the stuff that I've been working on, because I, I think it's kind of cool. And I think you, you might, maybe, you might think it's kind of cool too.